Hey everyone, and welcome to Skillcap's weekly Valorant News Roundup. My name's Modix, and today we will be covering all sorts of news including a new ranked system and even more leaks surrounding Act 2 of the Ignition series. Every Sunday, we release a weekly news roundup so that you can stay up to date with all the Valorant news, leaks, and upcoming changes to both agents and weapons. So if you want to stay in the loop, then be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Now let's get right into the news. So starting us off for today's video, we will be discussing a ton of the leaks that have been recently found by the data miners of Valorant. With Act 2 approaching ever so slightly, the devs have to start adding more files to get the 12th agent of Valorant ready for the launch. Today, we have two new leaks surrounding Killjoy, who should be this 12th agent. The first leak we have is actually found in-game on the map Split. You can find this leak if you head over to where the attacker spawn meets a lobby. In this corner, you can look into a store and see a cardboard cutout of a mysterious agent. Now it might just be me, but this looks really similar to this agent standing towards the back of this image. The hair really gives it off, and this might confirm that the agent seen in the image is codenamed Killjoy, and will be introduced with Act 2. Along with this first look at Killjoy, we also received many audio files from Valorant Express on Twitter that should be relating to the agent. Here are a few of them. I don't care how bright you are. You'll never be a radiant. Enough with the robots. I want their maker. Little engineer, I borrowed one of your transmitters for my camera. I'll pay you back. Probably. Nerd. So I guess the breach voice line might not exactly be directed towards Killjoy, but this was just recently added, so it very well might be. Now that is all that we have so far for Killjoy, but as we get closer and closer to release, we should get a lot more leaks and start to really understand who Killjoy is. And speaking of the release, many of you might have noticed that on the battle pass screen in game, there's a red text showing how much time you have left to grind out your rewards. This timer is counting down towards the date August 4th, which has recently been confirmed by the official Valorant Twitter as the start date of Act 2. Now the actual patch will not drop until 5pm Eastern Standard Time on this day, and recently all the big patches have been released earlier in the day, so it's really interesting to see a later drop coming with the next big Valorant content drop. One piece of content that we might be getting along with Killjoy is a new game mode to play. We already touched on this in our past news video, and this game mode is a free for all. The last time we touched on this topic, the developers were testing a game mode out on the map Ascent, but now all the maps are being tested and this could mean that another way to play Valorant will enter the mix come Act 2. And if this is the case, what game mode will you be playing on the first day? Will you keep it simple and just play a normal game to 13, or will you try out the new mode? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. And if you answered that last question with the new deathmatch, I might be able to change your mind with our final leak. This one comes from Valorant Leaks on Twitter, and he was able to find a brand new ranked system that should come with one of the next few updates. We touched last week that recently the person that created the current ranked system ended up leaving Riot, so the devs were tasked to recreate a new one that fixes a few problems that the old one had. Many players complained that there wasn't much progression shown in the current ranks, so in the new system there will be 5 levels instead of 3. Hopefully, this will give players a better perspective of where they fall in the skill chain. This is all we currently know about the changes coming to the ranked system, but we should still see new features come when the update drops. That was actually our last leak coming from the 1.04 patch, so now we can get into more Morello news. We do this every week because if you didn't know, Morello is the lead agent designer and he's able to give us inside information on future balancing changes. But before we get into all of those changes, I want to show you guys this clip of what Morello had to say about the ranked mode. People have been working on the rank system the whole time. We just didn't have a designer assigned to it. It's a big difference than nobody's working on it. So there's been a lot of stuff in progress, but the designers... A designer, part of the designer's role, and you'll see this like why you talk to me about balance and stuff. It's not like I'm the only person who works on balance, or that designers are the only people who work on these these projects. It's that we often have 
when players have questions, we have the very specific context that players are asking for in a lot of cases. So you want somebody who's really informed about what that is and somebody who feels like talking to players in the right way to be able to talk about it at the right times. And there's different teams have different levels of certainty they're okay talking about. I'm happy about telling you a little bit earlier stuff on characters because I know how solid it is or isn't. And I also like, I take responsibility for if it sucks. You know what I mean? Some people don't have that opportunity to take that responsibility when they work on their team and be like, I want to speak on behalf of the team. There's something wrong. And even I do this with how I talked about the rank system a little bit. And it really comes back to bite them in the ass or they feel bad or they let their team down or something like that. And that's no good, right? So... So a pretty interesting statement coming out of Morello, but not as interesting as Sage's current spot in the game. Right now, the devs are in the works with some pretty big changes to nerf her, but Morello was not able to confirm any of them because the team is still talking about what these changes will be. And Sage is not the only agent in this position. This is also happening with Breach right now. But luckily, we do have some good news. Sage is once again not going to see a nerf this patch. I know that's insane, it has now been 3 patches without seeing a Sage nerf, but with Act 2 we should be seeing this implemented into the game. One big question about the update that has been on many players minds is whether or not we will have Killjoy automatically unlocked when she comes into the game. Sadly, this will not happen and players will either have to pay or grind out the XP required to unlock her. Either way, it will be very interesting to see how many players are able to unlock Killjoy on the first day. Now, some more agent changes that we need to talk about are surrounding Raze. In patch 1.04, Raze's ultimate got a bit more expensive, now requiring 7 ultimate points instead of 6. But this wasn't a big enough nerf because Morello said that she will be experiencing even more changes coming soon. And he even hinted towards Raze possibly losing one of her satchels. What do you think about this though? Does only one Ray Satchel make her an unplayable agent? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Now Ray's was the only other agent that Morello talked about nerfing, but one agent still on the developer's radar is Cypher. With the esports scene expanding, we are starting to see Cypher's chosen in almost every single team comp. This makes his pick rate super high in tournament play, but then in normal matches this problem just disappears. Now Cypher is at a really good state right now in the game, and many players consider him one of the best agents, but during the live stream, Morello confirmed that the devs don't want to make any changes as of yet, so they will continue to just keep their eye out for him. Moving on to a completely separate note, let's talk about a feature that Morello confirmed wouldn't be coming into the game. This feature is an accept button once a match is found. This is a feature that is found in Counter-Strike right now, and many Valorant players have been asking for it, but sadly, no love for those guys. Another topic that the lead character designer shortly touched on was the Phantom vs Vandal debate. And even though Morello doesn't really work with weapon changes, he still gave the insight of the other devs. So right now, the Phantom is being chosen more than the Vandal at pro levels. This is due to the fact that the Vandal is only really superior once you start taking gunfights at further ranges. Recently, many players have said that the Phantom just feels better to shoot, and this might be due to the better first shot accuracy. Yeah, surprisingly Valorant doesn't have 100% first shot accuracy with weapons, and with this in mind, the Vandal has a worse accuracy than the Phantom. It's really interesting that players never found this out until the statistics got added to the buy menu in patch 1.04. Anyways, to attempt to change this, devs have decreased some of the standing inaccuracy on the Vandal, so now it should feel almost as good as the Phantom. With the PAX Arena tournament going on during the time of this video, it will be very interesting to see what the pros decide to take into the action. And speaking of the competitive side of Valorant, earlier this week, we had the first two professional players get banned from Valorant. Their names were Fox and Weak. It turns out that during the T1 Nerd Street Gamers tourney, the two cheated while playing on the ASMR team. Riot has made it very clear that cheating is not tolerated in Valorant, and so rightfully, they banned them. This is a good first step that the developers have made regarding cheating in the esports scene, but could this lead to more accusations in the upcoming future? Let us know your thoughts on the situation in the comments down below. 
Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this week's Valorant News Roundup. And if you liked getting all your Valorant news in one video, then feel free to join us next Sunday when we dive into more Valorant leaks, changes, and esports news. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching all the way through this video. I'm Modix, signing off, and we'll catch you in the next one.